welcome your special guest referee, the world heavyweight champion, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels involved in a great world heavyweight title defense against Rob Van Dam here last week before it was interrupted by Triple H. But Michaels will be at Armageddon in less than two weeks in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on pay-per-view. Yeah, but who will he face? Will it be Rob Van Dam or Triple H? Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. It was three months ago tonight on September 2nd that Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship by Eric Bischoff. On that same night, Triple H lost a tag team match and was pinned by none other than Rob Van Dam. It could be fake, King. Well, Rob Van Dam has been so close to being world champion on so many occasions, it's not even funny. Thinking back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE. But he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. Man, this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. Cole, tomorrow marks the 11th anniversary of Hulk Hogan defeating Undertaker for the WWE Championship at the Tuesday in Texas pay-per-view. Now that's relevant here, folks, because the controversy surrounding that win led to then WWE President Jack Tunney vacating the title, which was then hooking the... Triple H with the cover on Rob Van Dam, and there's Shawn Michaels, and oh man, Triple H is not gonna like that, Ken. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob Van Dam is rolling up Triple H. And oh! <laughs> A really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. Well, you got to hand it to Shawn Michaels. He's not exactly an impartial referee in this one, is he? Oh, look at RBD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RBD gonna do here? Oh, big shoulder oh, block! Right to the gut! And another! Look at this! Oh, Triple H with the close on. Whoa, they both ducked! And now RBD off the ropes onto HBK! Woohoo, a jumping corner splash! Now what? He's in big trouble! You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now! Oh, come on, King. Why in the world would you say that? What? Michaels hasn't done anything to warrant that happening. Bad officiating, Cole. This is as one-sided as it gets. Michaels is obviously for Rob Van Dam. He had it and lost it. Rob Van Dam misses his chance. Mm. Oh, my. Gets the moonsault. What athleticism. You hear how his leg connected? He's putting those educated feet to good use. doing a great job of turning that around.
under the ring. But this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. Just when he thinks he's going the one way, his opponent takes him another. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. Look out. Straight right by Triple H. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, right to the gut. Drops the chair. DDT. A skull. The official's not going to tolerate that. Thinking back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE. But he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every... Can he score the... Triple H with the cover on Rob Van Dam. Oh, you think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob hey, Van Dam is rolling up Triple H. And, oh! <laughs> A really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff... Look at RVD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big shoulder oh, block. Right to the gut. And another. Look at this. On oh, Triple H with the clothesline. Whoa, they both ducked. And now RVD off the ropes onto HBK. Woo a jumping corner splash. Now what? Why oh, is the guy opponent? What's he going for here? Under the ring. But this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Sure didn't win the fight, 